Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add uh, cheats or whatever in menu form to PS1 games. Uh, it's very simple. Download this app. Uh, it should be in the description. I should be able to share this without getting in trouble, hopefully. <laughs> uh, extract it so it's just like this. PS1 folder and then just like this. Um, another issue is that... Uh, for some reason Windows doesn't like this application so it's gonna say it's a virus but it's not a virus it's just hacking a PlayStation EXE to add the menu so make sure you allow it I mean you know if you don't trust it whatever but if you do the program will start working I'll show you that it works and how it works and what you can do to add your own or you can add cheats from EPSXE. So start it up. Now you'll see this. Now this is a program made by DDoc, uh, a Russian uh, hacker I guess. I don't know what you'd call him. But uh, you know, he's made this program easy for all to use. Um, I'm going to put the disclaimer out now. <laughs> This only works on bin Q files, um, so no multi bin. If you got multi bin, convert it to a single. Um, maybe I'll make another tutorial on how to do that. That's simple. But anyways, I digress. Also, this program is not perfect. It's got some flaws, of course. You know, nothing's perfect. Um, so. If you get an error, it's all trial and error. <laughs> I mean, most issues usually come down to how the text is formatted when you add sheets. But anyways, to use this program, open the Q file here and go to open. Then you get all this information. Okay. Now I do custom and then go down to compression type and do double. If double doesn't work when you add it to a game, try triple, because sometimes triple works. These ones, I don't think I've ever had to use. I've tried them, but usually these are like guaranteed for me. So I always do double two by default. Um, go down here and click this. Go to add sheets. Okay. Now from here, this is where you add your cheat codes. You can do it manually here. Uh, the name of the cheat, um, the name of the code, and then you can add code here. But what I'm going to do in the, in the sake of this tutorial is I'm going to get cheats from epsxe.com just to make it easier. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to double click this and you see infinite lives and then the code I'll go to another one always have key you know all that now sometimes because I said this program ain't perfect if you double click I'm not sure if any of these have it but if they do sometimes it'll be like this in the in the uh, text name so you gotta make sure that there's no spaces afterwards and like this you see how the code goes down press backspace and hit edit just to make sure there's no errors you know because if there's an error like that I didn't even add that that time just go back back and then edit because it'll it will show up on the menu when you edit it uh, that there's a space it's kind of annoying but so you can do it this way or you can go to game hacking here and uh, go to Spyro 1 you can go up here and go to uh, Sony PS1 you can search for Spyro here or you can go to S and then look for Spyro there I'm going to add one more code just as a demonstration. I'm going to add uh, get gems from anywhere. This wasn't in my last um, trainer menu because I made it a long time ago. 
and uh, well I don't have it so what you do is you add the text name here and then you copy all of this you right click you get a copy minimize this paste it here and then go to add code and there you go it's in the, it's in the list so now all I gotta do is go to main click on this E up here is the name of the game you'll see it on the menu Spyro 3 now if you go to custom and you go up to font size uh, 11 is perfect uh, this I usually do until it's like that so 5 in this case and then here I put my name Let me fix that okay and then sometimes you have to fix the width or the height or whatever it's all up to you um, if you scroll down you can see if everything is readable of course these bottom ones are too big so I'm gonna fix the width on that bring it down just like that and now you can read everything on and off all that stuff so now I mean there's other settings in here usually I don't change any of this but uh, you can if you want um, you can even change the background color to whatever you want which is neat you know you might want a darker color you know because of that <laughs> but it's there if you want any other color I just leave a default um, default black it's just I mean you're there for like a few minutes and then you're, you're done you don't need to make it all fancy so you go to apply settings and then the next thing you do is you go to make and patch don't worry about any other any of this just make and patch oh Okay, make and patch. Why did I say it was Spyro 3? <laughs> also, this program, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I said it was Spyro 3. That was my bad. I'm not going to fix that. <laughs> it's Spyro 1. I don't know why I thought it was Spyro 3. It's because I did Spyro 3's video today, I guess. But anyways, after it's done, bring this down. Uh, this thing was useless. This Windows thing, I just wanted to scan. It wasn't saying it was a virus that time. All right, now to see if it works, bring up RetroArch. I got it on Steam. Minimize this. Minimize this so I can see move over Spyro's Q file go to Swan Station that one's HD PlayStation uh, turn on your controller and there you go there's your menu now it's Spyro 1 you know <laughs> my bad add whatever you want to it doesn't really matter just make sure you know what you're doing there because clearly I don't but anyways, infinite lives, infinite health, moon jump. Uh, you know, I can do have all dragon eggs, have over sixty-five thousand jewels, blah, blah blah. Get gems anywhere. And then when you have everything you want on, you know, press X or A because I have an Xbox controller. So you just speed it up. the program and you go to open Q file and you want to get rid of the trainer menu just click uh, patch OG file or path OG file it doesn't matter 
uh, what it means is it'll restore it back to default. Uh, make as file, I don't think that does anything. Make and patch is how you patch the menu. And I mean, you saw all this. If you get an error, it's usually because text within the cheat code has a space or it doesn't like quotes or I don't know, maybe the the game, like for example, Toomba has a exclamation mark, so you have to erase the exclamation mark, go in the Q file, erase the exclamation mark, save it, and then try it again. And it should work unless the game just doesn't work the cheats for some reason. I mean, anything is possible. Some Japanese games will not work with this program, and I've tried to do as many as I could, of course, there's still like 200, 300 games I haven't done yet, so. But you can find all this pre patch stuff on archive.org. Search my name. Um, and hopefully, you'll be uh, adding cheats to your games and uh, don't have to rely on me. So, uh, grab the program down below in the description. You know, run this program. Add cheats to your games. Make sure it's one bin and one Q file. If it's multi bin, shrink it to one bin and one Q. And then do everything they said in this video, and you should be on your way. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.